<laughs> and welcome to Todd's Dungeon. <laughs> Halloween isn't all about sugar and spice and everything that's nice. Sometimes you want something a little different. So join me today as I make my version of a jack-o'-lantern pie. <laughs> Okay, so to start off with, I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. So to that, we're going to place in one chopped up onion and then our minced meats. In America, it's called ground beef. Okay, so what we're going to do now for the next few minutes, we're just going to keep on breaking this up, cooking it, turning it, just until the meat starts to turn brown. To that, we're going to add in one cup of salsa. You can use any flavored salsa that you like. Then half a cup of chili sauce. Personally, I'm going to use sweet chili sauce. Then two tablespoons of brown sugar and two teaspoons of plain all-purpose flour. And that'll help thicken up the sauce. So now we're just gonna mix it through until it's well combined. Okay, once that's all mixed through, this is up to you how much you wanna use, but I'm gonna add some black pepper and some salt. And just mix it in. And the final ingredient, our corn kernels. You can use a can or you can use the frozen ones like I've got here. So I'm just going to mix those right in. Next, I've got a 23 centimeter pie dish here. Now, you can choose whatever size you like. So just going to give it a quick grease with some cooking spray oil. And next, I have a sheet of shortcut pastry. It's going to place that onto the base. And we're just going to work it around just like so. Okay, so once it's all been worked around the edges, just get a fork and just prick it just a couple of times to help any air release from the bottom. And then we're going to place our mixture right onto the base. Okay, so I've got a bowl. Now I'm just going to crack one egg into that. And using a fork, just give it a quick beat. We're going to use some orange food coloring. So about, say, three or four drops. And we're going to whisk that through. Okay, so I have another sheet of shortcut pastry. And before we place it onto our pie, we just want to make our face. So I'm going to start with some eyes. So there we have a nice jack-o'-lantern mouth. Now you can play with the design and just do it however you like. So we're just going to place our jack-o'-lantern face just on top. And just push down on the outer edges, just so both the pastries have combined. And use a knife, we're just going to cut away the excess. And finally, we're going to use our egg wash with a brush. And we're just going to brush the top over, just like that. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to place this into the oven for about 10 minutes. Now it's going to be a preheated oven and I want you to preheat it at as hot as you can get it. So at about 450 degrees Fahrenheit or say 260 to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so our jack-o'-lantern pie is out of the oven and it smells delicious. And it not only smells delicious, I mean come on, look at that. So it's a relatively easy pie to make, but it's also a very, very tasty pie to make. But let's actually try some and see what it's like. Oh, that is so good. It is still very moist. And the mixture of all those flavors. Oh, there, there is only one way to describe this jack-o'-lantern pie. And you know what that is. It tastes simply delish. So whether you want to make it for a Halloween, or you just want to make it as a standalone pie, either way, you're going to love it, and I know you will. And of course, if you do make this, please do me a massive favor by putting a photo up on my Facebook page. But until then, thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, a list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Home Handy Hints channel, where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.